Hey guys, it's Idea Rishi back here with another video and yeah, Nvidia just recently announced their new Pascal architecture lineup and yeah, it seems quite exciting. So you might be thinking to yourself, what is the new lineup or the new Pascal lineup? Well, they named it after a French mathematician. So, so Nvidia with its new Pascal lineup has enabled three important features: mix, pre mix precision that does all the precise tracking and stuff and all that. NV Link and 3D memory. So you might be asking yourself, what the hell is NV Link? NV Link is basically a high bandwidth, energy efficient inter interconnect with ultra fast communication between the CPU and GPU and multiple GPUs. Since now Nvidia is seeing that with the new X99 or not, not that new, but with the X99, X99 platform, the people are using four-way GPUs, three-way GPUs, and also not just for like gamers or anything. Uh, also for workstation use and even super computing and all that people seeing lot of you people uh, nvidia seeing a lot, lot of people using multiple gpus so they want to make that scale nicely so that's why nv link is there and that's why they find it very important and they put it there so you might be asking whether pascal is going to be using gddr5 or gddr5x or hbm well, it's using HBM which is high bandwidth memory and it's using HBM2 so that's why it's not releasing this year and only next year but yeah, that is some few months away so the great thing about HBM is that since it occupies a small amount of space they are able to keep the VRAM or the video RAM on top of the GPU or side by side so it makes it closer to the GPU and makes it really fast so what NVIDIA is saying is that they are making the bandwidth of this memory 2 terabytes per second let that sink in 2 TB like terabytes 2000 gigabytes per second <sighs> even AMD's, R AMD's Fury X that also has HBM1 memory that's like some 536 gigabytes per second that's still the incremental upgrade from GDDR5 but this is 2 terabytes of bandwidth Two freaking terabytes GPU bandwidth is 1 TB per second 1 terabyte per second so with all that crazy bandwidth aside there are also some very good upgrades from that since it's using such fast freaking fast bandwidth and HBM since it occupies a very little space they are able to pack in more memory of VRAM so like the GTX Titan X has had 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 Nvidia is trying to put 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. If they don't get the 32 GB memory inside the new lineup of or the new Titan or something, they'll probably put 16 GB, but that's still a significant amount. What do you think they'll name the G new Titan, GeForce Titan? I don't know, probably Titan Y, no, but, or Titan A. I don't know. Why don't you put your comment in the description or tell what do you think could be a good name for the new Titan lineup. Hopefully they maintain the same power out power consumption from previous Maxwell cards so they maintain that sweet spot. Pascal has also gone through a smaller manufacturing process from 28 nanometers from to 16 nanometers. So that in itself will make the PCB space smaller and all that. And since with the new HBM memory where they make be, being able to make it closer to the GPU itself, the PCB size is now much smaller. And yeah, it is also very interesting to me because like we saw with the new R9 Nano where they literally took the Fury X, reduced the number of stream pro processes and then just made it into the small ITX form factor. Actually, Pascal wasn't supposed to be the successor to the really good Maxwell architecture. It was supposed to be Volta. But then due to delaying issues and all that, that was supposed to have all the great HBM2 memory, 2 terabytes per second bandwidth and all that, but it kept delaying and delaying and if you see the graphs actually, they actually mentioned Volta there and then Pascal in between. So Pascal, I think so Volta will be the successor to Pascal and yeah, this new Pascal generation will be quite good because it's going to be coming, coming in GeForce cards, going to be coming in Quadro cards, it's going to be coming in Tesla ca cards. I mean, like, the future of computing is getting very exciting. 
One thing I really want to know is if I could get a hand on my on any review sample. Please send me if you're listening. If I ever get a hand on any uh, review sample or there'll probably be many videos seeing performance of the new Pascal cards but it's going to be quite exciting. AMD, please get your game on. I know you have your new 300 series R9 300 series graphics cards with HBM1 memory but you need to get your game up son. I mean, like no no offense to the amd side now you now that you've done watching all this video you might be thinking what should i watch from this new channel next well you can head over there that's my recent video which i did uh, it's about the gatekeeper that guy is freaking sick you you can go check that out and then giving two away so there's still two more weeks there so you can just check that link there boom So yeah I'll put everything in the description also and I would like to get some feedback also on my videos and some tips on how to improve and like what all what content you want to see on the channel like that and I'll try to get that for you guys and yeah just do help me out and we hit 100 subscribers so so yeah guys see you guys in the next video peace